How's it going guys? Ultimate Noob here back with another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about possible legend changes that could be coming to season 5. We're basically going to be discussing a few leaked or conceptual uh, changes that were put out on Reddit uh, regarding a few legends. And in this video we're going to be talking about uh, Octane, Mirage and Lifeline. So first up we have Mirage. This is a rather interesting one. His passive would be sleight of hand, which would cloak him while using any consumable or reviving a teammate. I personally feel like this would be an excellent change to Mirage because getting a clutch heal off in a fight and being invisible would uh, be an extremely helpful and fun perk to have. And plus it could come up for some tactical plays as well. So imagine the situation where uh, say you're being shot at by a whole team, just uh, go behind cover and maybe pull out a phoenix even if you're like pretty high on health pull out a phoenix and just walk to cover so yeah just bamboozle your enemies there's countless opportunities just to um play around with that next up would be his tactical ability which would be totally psyched out which would send out a decoy that can interact with zip lines ladders balloons been overlooked and kind of been left behind by everybody lately because he hasn't been getting that much love from the devs in pretty much any of the updates that have uh, come around in the last few seasons. And his ultimate ability would be an emergency dance party which would deploy 5 decoys that mirror your action to distract your enemies. This would be similar to what we saw for the dummies big day LTM where you deploy um, your ultimate and then it puts out 5 decoys and then they just move in whatever direction you move in. So. It would definitely confuse a lot of people at uh, first. So yeah, Mirage's abilities seem like he could be a potentially usable legend again, which would be a lot of fun because I love using Mirage when he first came out when people weren't exactly um, aware of the decoys or how to dodge them. But what I also feel they should do with Mirage is also tweak his hitbox a bit, uh, make it uh, maybe a slimmer hitbox so it would make him harder to hit. So it would definitely uh, benefit you in a gunfight as well. Next up, we have the big one here, the lifeline changes. So we have the change uh, to combat medic. So we have real combat medic, which would begin to revive your teammate, which allows the doc to take over and finish that. So you could stay in combat. Basically what I'm guessing what this would be is that you start the revive on your teammate. And while you do that, um, the doc drone would take over the revive and you can get back to combat which would definitely be an extremely OP strategy to do. So you could just deploy your drone, I mean your shield, and then just, you know, provide some covering fire, which would definitely uh, put more emphasis on Lifeline's abilities when it comes to a combat medic. Another big change on her would be the circle of trust where teammates within the vicinity are hit with three healing pulses, each one providing 25 health. Yeah, and you have full mobility as well during this, uh, which would be better than the care package in my opinion, because the only thing the care package could be useful for in game right now would be possibly for purple shield. But besides that, I feel like the care package is pretty useful. So if you replace that with a circle of trust, it seems like a much more viable option to use in my opinion. Next up, we have Mer we have Octane. So in the changes for Octane, in, in possible changes for Octane, we could have uh, his tactical ability being changed. So when he stims, you'll be able to throw grenades faster or you'll be able further as well. You'll be able to aim down sight faster and swap weapons faster. And your physical skills like jumping and climbing would also increase. I would love to see this come to Octane because uh, being an Octane main myself, a problem that I face sometimes with Octane would be that if I'm stimming, it's kind of hard to swap weapons or even pull out your weapon sometimes. And also when um, I'm just running around in general, um, controlling recoil while you're in stim, especially with a gun like a wingman, is definitely harder because it seems to increase the recoil on your gun when you're, whenever you're in stim. So if they could fix that, if they could tweak that a bit, that would be amazing. It's a swift mend or swift end, so it would automatically restore health over time. That's what that stayed the same. And use a stim on a downed opponent to make them bleed out faster. This would help uh, with you getting your shield swaps in clutch situations. You have to end a downed opponent's life faster, so you could get their, you could access their death box. And when it comes to changes to the launch pad, I honestly feel like they should turn the launch pad into something like a geyser mechanic, where you can um, basically redeploy and fly a bit. So that would be definitely useful with Octane, like give it like a bit of range when it comes to mobility. That would be an amazing change when it came to Octane's jump pad. But let's see what the devs have to do with that in Season 5. And finally, uh, let's move on to something that caught my eye. Uh, a legend who's a not Loba, 
since everyone's been checking out Loba. Here's a legend that caught my eye with regards to his abilities. And something that I would really like to see. Maybe not in Season 5, but probably in Season 6. That would be... um. It'll be a lot of fun to use him. So we have a bishop here whose passive is a hover kit. And basically when you're midair and you're falling to the ground, if you toggle your aim button, you'd basically hover for a while in the air. Should create a lot of decent plays, I guess. It'd be a lot of fun to use that. The thrust mod seems pretty amazing. If it, it, it seems, it basically feels like Octane's jump pad being used as a tactical ability. You just boost himself vertically into the air. Um, this won't, I feel like this won't be as um, useless as Octane's jump pad. It would be much more tactical because you could access high ground uh, much easier, just like how Pathfinder can, but on a slightly low key basis. And now this salvo barrage uh, with a swarm of guided missiles. This feels like a combo of Bangalore and Gibby's ult, which seems like it'd be a lot of fun. But yeah, I just wanted to show off this legend that I saw on Reddit the other day. Uh, probably not going to come out next season. Probably going to come out maybe in one of the future seasons. We never know. It could be just a concept that, that the devs don't intend on putting out into the game. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all for now. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys smash a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here as well. I stream every day on Twitch, so make sure you guys click the link in the description to go there and follow me. Uh, come say hi, maybe catch me live. I'm probably going to be grinding for number one Loba next season, so I see you guys on that grind as well. Anyway guys, peace out, take care, stay indoors. It's been your boy Ultimate Noob. Have fun. Peace. made a tiktok it's funny he doesn't know how it works oh that's that's so cute where is that god damn it Good to be first. You're fucking delusional. You're, you're like eighth or ninth or something, honey. There's like eight people watching the stream. What do you figure? <laughs>